How are you, Manny Coca Flopless here again? Re malakis <laughs> rara jaiore. I feel like fucking Clint Eastwood at the end of Escape from Alcatraz. Although I didn't have a dummy in my bed, if you know what I mean. So I've taken the last couple of days to just fucking cruise around and soak it all in there. What the fuck's going on out there? I forgot how many people there were in this fucking city. Fucking hell. Immediately with our fucking roadworks there, road closed, day two are here, day two are there. Am I like I'm trying to fucking cruise around there and let the magia that's been cooped up for the last six months permeate through the fucking city and you're telling me take a day tour? You take a fucking day tour there. Been waiting too long, I've got to unleash. So I caught up with the boys at the gun in Northcote. Not as good to see the fellas. I was anticipating a little bit of commotion because I was going to be there. And Nico, I don't know why you got charged 75 bucks for your meal there. Don't look at me, I'll pay for my fucking chorizo risotto. Hey there. And the New York cheese cake was fucking sick. So I thought I'd just quickly touch base and check in and see what's what. I saw in the news there was a fucking major stampede because this fucking famous department store opened its doors at midnight and people couldn't fucking wait. But then my luck is you've been locked up for fucking six months and the first thing you think of is like, I can't wait to get the fucking Kmart. Let's go, love. Are you in such a dire need for anklet socks? Or do you need some fucking sayonaras for summer? Just calm down and relax. It's going to be there in the fucking morning. People are going to book to get into a fucking Kmart. I'm going to get to Kmart at midnight. Delighted. Where you going, Daz? I'm going to Kmart. What, now? Yeah, they open up at midnight. Oh, can I come? Yeah, fucking hope. Can you imagine coming home battered and bruised and your partner goes, what the fuck happened? You go out a punch on with some kind of Kmart. What the fuck for? There was one t-shirt left. We both went for it. So anyway, the other bit of news that caught my attention. Hillsong Church has bought Festival Hall. I'm afraid Pater Thanasi's religious powers are not going to be enough to do a fucking Efhelio on Festival Hall. Eh? You know how many gigs have been there? They're going to need the Archiepiscopo to come in with his fucking entourage. You know, one corner at a time. The East Wing, the West Wing, the North Wing, the South Wing. I understand that. You, know, you people are religious. You, know, you want to sing about religious things. You want to sing about angels and whatnot. I get it. I sung about angels once at Festival Hall. It was during a Slayer gig. They were sung along to Angel of Death. You want to sing holy songs as well? Got you covered. You know. Holy Wars by Megadeth. That was another fucking mad gig. But the one that fucking topped it all off... Motorhead. We were up the front, they're getting fucking squashed right up against the barrier. This is even before they came on. And then they walk out. And this fucking mad cunt lemme to. Oh, imagine this comes with your fucking feel. What a fucking mugger. Anyway, they walk out not saying nothing to the crowd. They just fucking stand there. And then they launch into Dr. Rock. The place fucking erupts like this. We go like this over the barrier, getting squashed in the fucking sternum there. Lasted about two songs, we got the fuck out of there, watched the rest of the gig from the safety of the back of the room there. I also remember that gig for another reason. I had a bit of an ailment due to my partying. Let's just say I was a bit itchy. It came to a head during Orgasmatron. How fucking ironic is that there? Had to run to the fucking bathroom. But I made it back to watch the rest of the gig. So Hillsong's gonna go in there now and fucking have liturgies. Liturgies. I fucking dare them to play war pigs. The generals gathered in their masses. Fuck it hell. And one last thing there. I've been driving around with a fucking mask here. Because that's how I roll. And being that the sun's been out. It's been a bit of flesh on show. I find that interesting to look at some people and be like, I wonder what you look like under the mask there. It's like it's a fucking bra for the face. And initially I thought, what am I like? Are you driving around with a fucking mask like that fucking trying to look like a cool cunt? But then I caught a reflection of myself in the mirror and I was like, what am I like? I'm fucking rocking this thing there. It's all about the energy you're putting out. And the eyes are the window to the soul. And I found that very intense lately, how we all fucking look at each other in the eyes. We don't usually do that there. You convey everything with your eyes there. I'm going to fucking demonstrate to you right now how you can convey Magyar with a mask on just with a fucking eyes there. Check this out. So how does it feel to be out of lockdown? I know the feeling. What's your name? Nice. I'll grab a coffee. Maybe we can go for a walk down the park and take our masks off. And my luck, that reminds me when I was fucking 16 that they're taking girls down to the park and doing things in public that I shouldn't be doing. 
unveiling the mask like that and looking around going, are we going to get in trouble? It's kind of hard, right? Playing that dangerous game, the game of unveiling in public, only it's not obsolete. I wonder if that's going to be a hot thing that people say to each other. You want to take off your mask? Take it off. Man. I can't. Yeah, you can't. Take it off. No one's watching. Erema, like I'm driving around, I'm looking around at all these fucking people and I'm going, Erema, like it's nice. Their life has come back to Melbourne. And then it hit me. I'm looking at people and I'm going, look at this malaka. That's my default setting, there. Get that a malaka. But the good thing is we're out and about. The baraki are open. We're back to business. I'm looking forward to my first trek back out to Oakley. Dude. I wonder what the fuck's going to happen there. Fucking hell. Hamos. Hamos.